Right, let's make a start on this. I want to try and get as much done with this today as I can. So I've brought myself a plastic tub out to collect all the screws and we'll salvage everything that is salvageable from the shed. Right, I won't bore you to death. I'll just get on with this. I'll just get on with this and we'll bring you back later on. Right, we're making good progress here now. As you can see, we've got all the front cut out. We've got both doors made. Tony's just putting the wire on the back of this one. And then we'll do that one. Then we'll get the plastic sheets on. And then we'll be, uh, and the bars in on the back. And then we'll get it all tidied out inside. And uh, crack on. So. We've got the Grand Master here doing his job. I've taught him well, as you can see. And uh, yes, I have been giving him a hand, but he's done quite a lot of work again, as, as, a, uh, as always. And it just speeds the job up so much more. It makes life a bit easier for us. And there we have it, all finished. Both doors on, meshed behind, plastic on, bit of plastic at the far end there now is all sealed off and the whole front is finished and pretty symmetrical. Well, I'll show you what I've been doing inside. Right, let's take you um, inside and have a little look. Ooh. Obviously we've still got a lot of stuff in here to tidy up, I've had enough for today but we've got the doors on in here now along with the bars in the top and in the bottom and they both open as well as patio doors Alright, let's take a look in here and show you what we've been doing in here Again, it's not finished, but it's, we've made a start. So, I've got a bit of old carpet down here just so we didn't paddle sludging on here so I can wipe my feet on this. Now then, we lifted the carpet up in the house and all of the underlay. And Tony's idea was, well, why don't we line this shed with the underlay? So that's exactly what we have done. So we've got a two-inch wall there where warm air will get trapped now with the underlay. So we've used this up, and yes, it's tatty and patched here, there, and everywhere. But then I intend to finish it off with this. Right, had a busy day. Tony did land up, and he's uh, well, he's done ninety percent of the work really. But let me just show you inside one side of the shed that is completely finished now. So there's the man himself. Hi guys, Tony. Uh, I don't know what I'd do without him half the time, but as you can probably see now, we've got all of this wall foiled. With the back side of the wall, I had some white flute board and decided to put white flute board down there to tidy that up. And then we've still got the foil on this side, and as you can see now, we've got the grow lights and the benching. And then we've got more grow lights under these for the citrus trees and these are on cords that we can just raise and lower at any time and these are just running on little solar charged battery banks now I didn't they will actually run both but it will drain the battery much quicker 
and these have got a timer switch built into them and we've set that at 12 hours from now so in 12 hours this will go off and then tomorrow I'll be able to check what the state of the battery is now we're going to do the same thing through the other side there we're going to have a bench with a 12 volt car battery or leisure battery we'll have a solar panel on the roof charging that that charging these battery banks and I'm assuming that the LEDs won't use as much power as the heaters do so even just running like this we should get quite a bit of run time on a standard battery bank morning Saturday the 18th of March 2023 so Tony's been back up here again this morning All right. giving me a hand as usual so this is like three weekends on the on the trot now but I'm just going to spin you around and show you we've just been cracking on and show you what we've done and what a transformation we've got now So we've completely transformed this shed now. We've got double patio doors this side and that side. We've got all the landing down now and tidied all that mess up. Yeah, not really, it's there. We've got to move it. But we've got all that tidied up, all plastic coated to protect the wood. We've got a strewing board there now, fitted down the bottom. And uh, we've even got lights in there, which I think you've seen in the last video. Um, and we're about to clean this side out and do a similar thing on this side now with some benches right Tony's just gone home uh, cracking day's work again now what we've done now is we've got two lights in here now and as you can see like I said in the other video we can knock these ones off or them ones it doesn't really matter but we've got the plants on this side so we needn't be wasting power on that side where there's no plants yet and then this one here, we've got the second strip light in as well now. So we get even more light on these plants. And, uh, yeah. They're also on a timer now. So basically, we've got a car battery in here. Then I've got a new, uh, a new brand new solar charge controller fitted. I've got a 100 watt solar panel up on the roof charging this. This comes out of a cigarette lighter socket and it goes to this little device here that I bought which gives me all those USB ports out. It tells me what, uh, it shows me the battery banks charging up and it's got eight ports. Right, that's me for the day. I'm going home now as well. I've just set the timer for 12 hours now so these will stay on till half past four in the morning and they'll come back on at half past four uh, tomorrow evening as well. Sunday the 19th of March. It's now the end of the day and Tony's gone back home again. So what we've done is we've got a big strong bench in here now. We cleared this area all out. That's just some stuff still to be sorted through. So for now I've just put a little bit of wood on top of the bins and stacked up there until I get sorted but basically now we've got the solar charger running on this side here coming down feeding round here and feeding this battery so for now I've got all the plants through here um, just for the time being but we've now got all this bubble wrapped all round I've got a shelf up here for to put my seat trays on there. Another shelf here that basically is just reflecting the light down. And then we've got some more lights in here along with another bench, button bench. Right. Oh, I'm well and truly whacked out. I've just cleared all the mess up outside as well, all, this, all that wood did and plastic and cleared down the patio area and... Um, all of the landing and tidied both sides of the shed up but that's all the hard work done now all the lights are in the benches are in yeah all the hard work's done now I can finally do some gardening videos 
I'm just having my final cup of coffee as always. Right, so I hope you found the last couple of videos um, interesting, if nothing. Uh, or entertaining even. Um, was it worth it? Yeah, I think it was. If, if nothing else, I've now got a nice, warm, dry, clean shed that I can potter about in. Um, yeah, it was definitely worth it. But it's looking like, um, with that amount of lights, I will need to have two batteries, and I'm going to say that periodically, every couple of days, I might need to charge, especially during the darker, miserable days, I might need to charge one up every couple of days and come up and interchange them. Is that a problem? Not really. Um, and the weather's on the turn now for it to get better now anyway, so, yeah. And, uh, yeah, overall I think it was worth it. It gives me grow lights that I've never had. And it gives me heated propagators that I've never had to play with. Um, it might be a bad thing actually, it might encourage me to start growing sooner than the season allows. <laughs> Got some tomatoes up, I guess four, maybe five tomatoes have came up in the heated propagator. That's still running away merrily, never had a problem with that. Uh, I did change the battery over yesterday, either way. Right, I hope you've enjoyed all my little pottering and tinkering. If not, then tell me in the uh, sections below. We'll try and mix it up a bit and give you some gardening videos. Um, but as always, thanks for following me along. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for all your likes, dislikes, comments, subscriptions and your donations. And whatever you are in the world, please stay safe, be practical and keep yourselves out of harm's way. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you again in the next video.